Welcome back to Christoph Desk. This is the video that is going to use R Studio or R to solve the question we solved in our previous video using manual on equal variance t test independent. All right, so that um, if you have a data point that are more than that, you can't be calculating the mean manually and stuff. See the formula see how gigantic some of these sites you will not be all the time struggling to be able to do all the stuff all right so yeah. it's better you 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 do that with the computer so make sure this uh, pdf will just be right there in the description area you can check that for that pdf and then you can go through all right so now let's try to solve this question using our studio right so this is my r studio let me open up for you to see so this is my r studio so let me clear stuff all right so i've already entered my data i've called the new one as p a uh, old one as p so when i enter p all right that's just a lot of error so when i enter p they give me the the data point for um the data point for the old one okay so if you don't know how to enter kind of show you say p is equal to all right so let me use um, old for let's say old old is equal to you bring a c and then this one's you enter the value two four three comma two two eight comma two two zero and then two zero six and then lastly one nine eight okay and hit enter so you call your i think i've omitted one of this ones I think two three zero didn't come so two three zero all right so now when I call my old my old is given all right so my old is there and then my new I just call it n and then my n is also there so these are my two data points I just supply it to R okay so when I when you supply these values to R the only thing you have to do is run the code so the code is t dot test you want to do a t test so t dot test so it comes so t dot test what are your data points so my data points are old comma new all right so old and new so what what else i said we assume variance to be Unequal variance, isn't it? So we say that um, var var dot equal. So it comes var dot equal is four. So we say capital F, comma. Then um, alternative hypothesis. So we say alternative. All right. So I think there's an error. So we say alternative. So alternative is what um, we are saying. Alternative is alternative is um, less. Okay, so less. So I think that is all. So we need t dot test t dot test. The data points for the first one which is the old one and then the new one which is n var dot equal all right and an alternative hypothesis is that and then remember we could have added the could have added the confidence level conf all right conf dot level but the default is five percent 
which is 0 0.95 so we wouldn't worry ourselves so you will change this one when the value is different from five percent okay so here it's five percent so i can't i don't want to just bring that so with that i can just click enter so when i hit enter boom there i go i have everything i need so you see that i have my test that is my t my test statistic which I calculated manually, which here to have it as negative 1.8356, and my degrees of freedom is 10.161, if you remember, and my p-value I said is between 0 0.05 and 0 0.04, so you see that, which is here, 0 0.04791, okay, alright, so with that, you are good to go, you compare this value, you see this p-value we have here, you compare with your alpha value, which is 5%, so you see that still 5% is greater than this value. In that case, the alternative hypothesis still holds. Okay, isn't it? Then we just reject the null hypothesis and conclude that indeed the new method has been fantastic. Isn't it? Sure. So see, the work that we did, which was very manual, very difficult, with this software, with R or with any other software, you know, you would be able to just do that with just some few clicks okay all right so make sure you subscribe to the channel if the video was very helpful and then see you next time